Hello friends. Today I decided to make a video to show you how to mail merge a document uh, letter that you want to send, a form letter, uh, to a spreadsheet contact list or database. So uh, we're going to be doing this using LibreOffice and my computer is a Windows uh, 10. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a um, a letter that you prepared. So this one I, I just said hello, or, or you could say greetings if you wanted to. You could change that to greetings. And then leave a space so that you could put the name uh, and, and the, like a comma, and then it'll print that on each of your invitations. Now next, uh, you want to, um, preview that and then we'll do the labels we can do labels and or we can print directly on envelopes but on this particular one um, I'm going to show you how to do envelopes so here we have our um, let's go ahead and move places okay this one here is our uh, contact list And you could, uh, I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it better. Okay. So I've just made up some names and addresses. And it doesn't have to be fully visible. I mean, it's there. They're just, as long as they're in the cells. Whenever you make a spreadsheet, make sure you, that your first row or row one is the name of the uh, column so that you can enter that um, by, by the cells below it. So for example, you can't have any spaces above, um, you can't have any blank rows above, below, or to the side. It has to be the first uh, one will be the first thing that you enter, etc. So this is how I've set this one up. Now, first thing you need to do is you need to save your letter your letter, which this one here is a form letter that I've made on LibreOffice Writer. Now, this is the program I'm using. If you want to use this, you need to uh, download it, and I will have the link um, there for you. Let me see. Um, where is it at? Let's see, is it this? Yeah, it's this one. I tried to move it, but it, unfortunately, okay. So, for example, this, you can see by the color, this is a blue, it's got a blue in its form letter, I, or in other words, it's the um, LibreOffice writer. And when it does a green one, that's a, a LibreOffice calc, which is like your Excel. And then, uh, the purple is your databases or the connections that you make between the programs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect these. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave this to the side. First thing you need to do is you need to uh, save this document, um, or I've already saved it as form letter. You can see up there, so save as. and it's form letter. I'm going to keep the same name and we're going to say it's telling me do you, are you sure you want to use that name it already exists I'm saying yes because I want to keep the same name. All right so next I want to uh, give a name to the uh, database uh, not just the name but something that will allow me to connect it to the um, program for the writer to be actually able to print the labels. So it's called making a connection, uh, mail merge data connection or something like that. So we're going to name it that just to make it easier. So we're going to go here, save as, okay. And you see, I've already got that name there, mail merge database address list. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it the same and I'm going to say save. And yes. 
So now that's already been saved with that name. Next, I'm going to make a uh, data connection. So in order to do that, I need to go into the um, LibreOffice base. Or I suppose you could go here, File, New, Database. And then it's going to take you to this wizard. And I'm going to tell it I want to make a connection with an existing database or spreadsheet in this case. Spreadsheet is the one you're going to select. And then you can go to Next, or you can click on this. And you're going to browse for your uh, documents. And I uh, saved mine on the desktop, so I'm going to go in there and look for it and I saved them under sample. Okay, and so the thing I'm looking for here is the mail merge database list which I created. That's the green one there. So we're going to connect to that one and open it. So next we're going to go to, it's going to ask me do you want to register this in LibreOffice and I'm saying yes. So I'm going to not op I'm going to uncheck the open for database for editing finish. Now at this point you have to rename it again with the um, uh, connection. So we're going to I've already done it but just so that you could see um, we're going to the desktop LibreOffice and again I put it in the samples folder. So it's the mail merge data connection address list and save and it's telling me it's already been saved with that name and we're saying yes because I want to keep that same name but it, you're going to need to add that name in because obviously you're not going to have it there. Okay so then next I want to view my data sources. Um, yeah I want to view my data sources and you can see that I've got my mail merge there. And we're going to go to tables and sheet one. And there is my sheet of um, contacts that I want to be printed on the labels and also on here. Now what you want to do here is you want to take the uh, title and I'm going to put, oh, put it, well first of all, before I do that, let's go ahead and put a space first. And it's already got a space, so we're going to go ahead and drag the title, the word title, onto there. Put a space so that it will have a space between the title and the name of the person. Full name. And again, here you could put individual, like first name, last name, uh, the address you could do individually, like a row or column that's got just the numbers, then just the streets, if you were, were so inclined. I find it's easier to just put it all together in one set. And so now I'm going to put a comma and space or go to the next row. All right, so that's set. Now if I want to print that, I'm going to go ahead and go to um, uh, print. It's going to say, do you want to use these database fields? I'm going to say yes. And so here instead of printing it to the printer I'm going to go ahead and print a file but you could also print it to your printer and just so that we could view it and here we're going to call it um, print um, printing um, form letter okay save and so now I can go look for that printing form letter and open it and there it is it has Edward Scissorhands it's got uh, Joan of Arc so all my um, letters are ready. So now then I would just be able to just hit print and print all of these out. So I could just go like this, print, 
and then I would go LibreOffice. Okay, change that from this one. I'm going to change it to Primo. This is why I wanted you to download Primo. Then go here, and instead of actually printing it, I'm going to preview it on a screen, and it'll create the PDF, and we'll call it um, Printing Form Later. That sounds good. And save. Now, this is what it's going to look like when you print it. So this is a sample. Now, the problem with this is it's showing an extra uh, page in there, but my printer isn't showing that. That's just showing that in the preview. Um, if you wanted to make sure that that was not uh, going to print on yours, what you could do is go to Tools, Options, and uh, General, sorry, printer here, yeah, LibreOffice, and wait, LibreOffice Writer, and then you're going to go print, and you're going to uncheck this print automatically uh, blank pages. The other thing you want to do is go to user data, and this is where you would put the return address that you want put on your address labels, okay? So then hit o apply, okay, and then it should print this on your printer without the extra page. So the next thing we want to do is we want to insert an envelope. And here we're going to go first clear everything out of the top one. And if you want your um, return address to show, you have to click this box. If you don't want it to show, you unclick it. And there's what the default size is going to look like. You want to also make sure your format is correct. It's a number 10 envelope. And then here you could also change your characters. Like I, if I wanted it to be bigger uh, uh, size font, I'll just change them both to that. I mean, I could change the writing, the type of print all. And so then next we're going to go to the printer. And my printer is the type that you just insert the envelopes in the middle and readjust the, the uh, guides on the side, and it'll pull all the uh, printers in. Then you must go into the um, uh, setup. And in this case, well, wait, cancel. We're not going to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and mail merge the, uh, put the mail merge uh, connection that we made. We're going to go sheet one, and then we're going to add the fields. So the first one I'm going to add, it's when I clicked on there, it's going to send me to the top, but I want it to be over to the right a little bit. I'm sorry, below a little bit. So then I'm going to hit enter, and the title is the one that's selected, and I'm going to click on this little black arrow and that will pull it over and then since the next thing that I want to be right next to the um, title is the name I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right next to it right there and there it is right next to it it should be there um, what I do know though is I do want a space between them so I'm gonna add a space okay so then here I want it to be on the next row when I put the uh, full street address so enter, uh, enter it with that arrow, and then hit enter to get it to the next row. Now we're going to put the city, state, and zip, and hit the arrow, and it'll go there. Okay, so now um, we're going to go ahead and go to the, let's see, new document, and you can see that it is um, set up. What I do see though is that the format looks like not the right format for me. So let's go ahead and change this to number 10 envelope. Okay, let's make sure everything's right. Okay, this one should also say envelope. And apply. 
and then page. Okay. For some reason, it is uh, dividing this in a weird way. Separate line. I should say none. Okay. So this is um, not correct. This should not be on the bottom here. So let's undo that. Undo change type. Okay. So it looks like it's set on the wrong size envelope. So let's go ahead and close that. Don't save that because we don't want that. What we want to do is we're going to go first into format and we're going to tell it we want to format the page to be an envelope. So here we go. And then we're going to go to, um, let's just make all of these 0.50. So they'll all have the, let's copy that. and paste it on all of them just to make it centered on the edge of the envelope in every direction and then the paper tray um, will automatically select all right and let's see area Okay, so it looks like it's set, and hit apply, this should be landscape, apply, okay, so now we're going to do the, um, uh, insert envelope, There it is. We're going to go ahead and do our mail merge. And since we only have one in there, we know which one we want. Okay, new document. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, preview this. We're going to call it. Um, envelope printing or video so you'll know that's a new one and there it is okay there it is so as you can see, it's going to have the names of the persons. Now, I do notice now that um, this appears to be the wrong size envelope. So let's see if we can f uh, fix that. Um, and I'm sure I know what it is. I did not go in and adjust the settings. So instead of Primo, it should be Epsom. And it should say number 10 envelope here if you don't do that it will mess it up <laughs> so let's cancel this and let's start again um, and in fact let's cancel this don't say that so let's try setting up our format again and we're going to format a page style which is an envelope. Okay, so far everything looks good. Okay. And it should be envelope. And next, we want to insert an envelope. And there's the envelope. Now we're going to select the 
printer setup. That's what I didn't do. We need to go here and we need to do the properties. We want to select instead of letter, we want to do envelope number 10. And on the type of paper, it is a number 10, uh, an envelope also. And so say OK. Now, OK. Again, let's look at the properties. Envelope, options, everything looks proper. And OK. OK. And so now I'm going to tell it I want a new document. There we go. So now where it says the name, it's going to have the, the, the name of the uh, the title and then the full name, the address, and all that on the envelopes. So in order for you to preview that, let's go ahead and do hit the print. It says, do you want to print form letter? Yes. We're going to say file instead of printer because we're going to save it as a test. So we're going to call it print, print envelope for video test. Okay, we'll call that one that. And so now we're going to have to open that. And this is what it printed. So then your printer will print these uh, envelopes just like that with the names as you see it there. Hopefully this was very helpful for you and you'll be able to do your own documents using a database and LibreOffice with Windows 10. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.